Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Vaga Brothers. It's a crisp, beautiful morning here in Carmel, one of our favorite places in California. We've been invited on a road trip by Glade to experience some of the fragrances of the new Glade plugins car. We're starting off with Aqua, so to kick the day off, we're gonna go paddle boarding here at Carmel River State Beach. Plus, we have some company. Some of the locals have come out to go for a little swim with us. I'm talking about a pod of humpback whales. You guys ready? Let's get in the water. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we are here on Monastery Beach, named because there's an old Spanish monastery over there. And we're meeting up with Brent. What's right going on. on, Brent? Ah, today is gonna to be our time in the beautiful Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Nice. And we're going paddle boarding. We're switching to GoPro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're actually surrounded by jellyfish right now too, which is kind of crazy. But um, there's whales spouting a couple hundred feet away. Oh my God. It's pretty incredible to be this close to one of the largest mammals on earth and um, to be doing it from a stand-up paddle board, even better. That was awesome, and I would have to say, probably the best paddleboard I've ever done. On with the adventure. Thanks, brother. You guys are awesome. Take it easy. Take care. Laters. <laughs> like he said, on with the adventure. Let's go. Pulled over at this little fruit stand on the side of the road. They got an honesty box out. We just hopped down to the ocean and are starving. So I think we should get some fruit, bro. Mandarins. A couple of mandarins, maybe a banana or two. No matter what you do, one of the key things about any road trip is taking time to stop and smell the flowers. <gasps> oh. What is this? Oh, no. The idea behind this road trip is that we are exploring the different scents behind the Glade plugins. In this case, the Aqua plugin, which draws upon notes of citric flavors, like this mandarin. So smell the orange, smell the trees around us, the ocean, and you're starting to get the vibe. All right guys, now we are in Monterey, California, which in addition to being the original capital of California during Spanish times, is a beautiful oceanfront town uh, and also the setting of one of my favorite books of all time, Cannery Row by John Steinbeck. It's a story about the fishing port here, 
um, and all the sardine canneries that were originally here and all the people who lived around the area. So it's a really colorful book that describes this beautiful place and it's a fitting spot to come for a little bit of seafood. So we're gonna go have some lunch at a restaurant right here on the water. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it down Cannery Row to a restaurant called The Fish Hopper. I suppose you have some delicious seafood, including the famous sardines, so, ooh, these look nice. in Cannery Row, overlooking this ocean, with the smell of the sea and some good seafood, in the setting of one of my favorite books. It's just check, 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 check. All right, you guys, so we have cruised over to the Monterey Pier, and I found a new friend. I think you guys are gonna like him. He's super friendly. He's down there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. There's something really unique about like Monterey's history and heritage with kind of the connection with fishing in the ocean. And I just really like how in this part of California, the coast meets the ocean in a very unique way. And you get a lot of fragrances that you wouldn't necessarily get like down in Southern California, where you have the forests coming down from the hills right into the ocean. This is a really beautiful spot. And plus, the climate here is much more tolerable than Southern California in the summertime. I first fell in love with this part of California through the books of John Steinbeck. A lot of his novels are set here, but the whole Monterey Peninsula is just gorgeous. So we're gonna take what we have left of the daylight and go make our way to the end of the Monterey Peninsula. Let's go. This spot, dude, is this fulfilling all of your childhood dreams of being the lighthouse man and living in the lighthouse? It's a super cool spot, not gonna lie. We're on the corner of the peninsula. This is Point Pinos Lighthouse. And apparently it's from the 1800s and it's got a light that is visible from 17 miles away. It's been a really cool day exploring Carmel, Monterey, one of our favorite parts of California. But tomorrow we're continuing with some adventures up in the mountains. So in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe and turn on notifications if you have not already. And in the meantime, remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>